Hi, I'm Robert Lee Camp, and welcome to another class on the science of the cards. Today we're going to talk about your decanate ruling card. And this is something that I had discovered a long time ago, like 10 years ago, maybe longer, but I never really used it very much until one year when I saw just how significant it can be. So I want to have a little demonstration of this, how this works. For those of you who haven't had a chance to read my articles, I have two articles, by the way, on this in my visions volumes on 7thunders.com. Those are listed under books, uh, newsletter articles. I have a collection of all the visions and it'll tell you if you search through the index, through the table of contents, just which ones to get it if you want to read more. But we're going to go over it here together and hopefully this won't be too complicated, even for those of you who are not that good at astrology. Okay, so the decanate ruler is a different ruling card. It's in addition to your birth card and your planetary ruling card. And it's based on what degree of your sun sign your sun is in at the time of your birth. And this, of course, is using Western astrology, not Eastern or Vedic astrology. So each sign is divided up into 10 into 30 degrees and a decanate deca means 10. So it's 10 degrees of that 30 degrees. For this reason, there's three decanates in each sign. The first one starts at zero degrees of the sign and goes to nine uh, degrees and 59 minutes of that sign. The second de decanate goes from 10 degrees to 19 degrees, 59 minutes. Uh, minutes of a sign and the third decanate is the rest of it really goes all the way to 30 uh, degrees and this chart in front of you here shows you if your sun sign is such like let's say you're a Gemini and you're in the first decanate it's still Gemini for your decanate ruler which means it's the same as your planetary ruling card, which means you don't have a separate decanate ruler. So if you find yourself in the first 10 days of your sun sign, and you know, each sun sign starts around the 21st to 23rd of each month. So if you're born in that first, like between the 23rd and the 30th of the month or whatever, you're in the first decanate and you don't have a separate decanate ruling card that's distinctive from your planetary ruling card. Um, there are some cases like where actually this, the decanate will be Leo. And if it's Leo, that's the same as your birth card. So you don't have, you again, don't have a, a separate ruling, decanate ruling card to use. But most people have a different decanate ruling card, which can be used. So you have to first know your sun sign. And then you also need to know how many degrees of that sun sign your sun sign is. And the best way to do that is to do a chart and look at it. It'll show you on there. Uh, I recommend people going to uh, astro.com because you can go there and do a lot of free charts, uh, a lot of other free fun things too. But you can get your birth chart. It'll tell you how many degrees of each sign each of your planets is. Okay. So with this, you can tell what your decanate rule what decanate your sun is in okay if you're in the second or third decanate of your sign then you need to know that you are this other sign and we're just going to look at the the other list here which is what planets are ruled by which signs okay let's see if i can uh, expand upon this so on the left side is the sign and, and it's ruled by the planet so the same, this is the same as the planetary ruling card, except we're looking at a decanate now. So for example, the, the regular planetary ruling card, when you say, you say, well, I'm, I happen to be a cancer, I'm ruled by the moon. So my moon card in my life spread is my planetary ruling card. But my decanate is the third decanate of cancer, which ha happens to be Scorpio. So that, that Scorpio connects me to my Mars and my Pluto cards. And I suggest for people that have a Scorpio decanate that you focus mostly on the Pluto card. It's the stronger, I think, of the two in terms of a ruler. And my decanate ruling card happens to be the Jack of Clubs. That's my lifetime Pluto card, which really explains a lot of things in my life uh, more than 
things that didn't show up in the birth card and the ruling card. For example, just one quick thing is I always really connect well with Ten of Clubs people. And what's interesting about Ten of Clubs is their card isn't even close to my life spread. Let me get it up here real quick. Um, my life spread. Uh, if you look at the Grand Solar Spread uh, here, my birth card is down here, my ruling card is here, Ten of Clubs is way up here. There's no connection to my card and theirs. But if you look at the Jack of Spade, the Jack of Clubs, and you look in the spiritual spread, we're right next to each other, the Ten of Clubs and Jack of Clubs. And I've always been have a very easy time, and there's a mutual kind of connection there with Ten of Clubs people that I meet. So that's just another example. Now you've you've seen these two charts. Um, you have them on this recording, so you can go back and refer to them. And I suggest you look up your decanate ruler. Now, what can you do with it? Well, you can you can do first of all, you can do yearly readings on that card, just like you do with your birth card and your ruling card. The latest version of my software allows you to select the decanate ruler, and you can see now I'm looking at my Jack of Clubs spread for this year, and with great attention because, well, let's see, am I looking at the year? No, I'm like actually here, here's the yearly spread right here. And I'm finding it to be very, very significant. And I think you will too. I think you'll find things in the decanate ruling card spread that are important. They're happening in your life, but they don't show up in the birth card or the ruling card spread. Now you can also do relationship readings with the decanate ruling card. The latest version of my love card software allows you to have that decanate ruling card and do the connections with that. Uh, you can do it manually with the book, but you'll have to manually look it up, look up the decanate ruler of you and the other person, and then do the birth card to the decanate ruler, the decanate ruler to the birth card, and so forth, until you have the connections. I think you're gonna find, and also just look at that decanate ruler as being a more prominent part of your personality. I always wondered like, I didn't think I had any clubs, you know, I didn't think I, why am I publishing books? I, I was like, why am I publishing books? I don't have any clubs uh, in my cards. And yet there, that decanate rule of the jack of clubs, it just sort of explained, this is just one example. Another aspect of the jack of clubs is how fixed it is. And I have a very fixed mind. Uh, I was also just looking, just taking a quick glance, Angelina Jolie, I look at the her and Brad Pitt because they're such great um, examples of cards. And what's interesting is her decanate ruler is the four of clubs. Now I used to think that um, her and Brad Pitt, he was moon to her, but she was never moon to him. But it turns out that his ruling card is the two of, of diamonds and her decanate ruler is the four of clubs. So she's actually moon to him as well. It's not as strong though because his birth card is right behind her uh, her birth card. And that's a, that's a stronger connection, birth card to birth card. But there is a moon card going the other way too, which I'm sure was a, had, a, had a big role in her being so attracted to him. Because when you're somebody's moon card, um, you find yourself very attracted to the other person. So I hope now that you, everybody who is a student here can learn to use these decanate ruling cards. Um, our online software does not do the decanate ruling cards stuff yet. Uh, someday we will, but our desktop software for Microsoft PCs do, does. I hope you enjoyed this class and I look forward to many more. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.